Hello and welcome to this learning video. Till now we have seen what is Z transform, elementary Z transforms and also the properties under this topic. Now here in this learning video we will see what is inverse Z transform. And for that you must know the elementary Z transform of standard sequences. So let me tell you what is this inverse Z transform. So the inverse Z transform is nothing but the process of determining a sequence which generates the given Z transform. Okay. Now as far as the mathematical uh, notations are concerned. So let us see uh, this inverse Z transform. So if Z transform of F of N is F of Z then then Z inverse of F of Z is equal to F of N. So here we have to determine the sequence. Okay. That is what this inverse Z transform do. Is, is the inverse is the inverse Z transform. Okay, now to find out the inverse Z transform, there must be some methods, right? So to find out the inverse Z transform, we have different methods. So under uh, this topic, we will be having three different methods to get the inverse Z transform. So the very first method, which is very popular is the method of convolution or convolution method. The second thing is partial fraction method. Partial fraction method. And then we have the power series method. Power series method. So these are the three different methods that we are going to learn under this topic. Okay. And here in this, we are going to start with the first method that is the method of convolution or convolution theorem method. Okay. So without much ado, let us start with this. So if you want, I can write under this methods methods to find methods to find inverse Z transform inverse Z transform so I can write here following are the methods following are the methods to find inverse Z transform transforms. So these methods are number one, two and three. Okay. And as you know that we are going to concentrate on this convolution method. Okay. So let me give you the working rule for this. Next is the working rule. For convolution method. Working rule for this. Okay. So what you have to do here the step number one says just try to get two functions and for this uh, method of uh, convolution you must know what is convolution theorem first okay so let us see first of all what is convolution theorem and then we can continue with this okay so these are the three different methods that we had now 
कॉन्वल्यूशन मैथड कॉन्वल्यूशन मैथड द सेकेंड वन वॉज वॉट इज इट द सेकेंड वन वॉज पार्शियल फ्रैक्शन मैथड partial fraction method and then the third one which is power series method power series method okay so as you know that we are going to start with the very first method that is the convolution method so let us give the heading now convolution method so what is this convolution method so for this we will see what is the convolution theorem okay so i will write it as a theorem because we are going to make use of it so what this says if z inverse of f of z if z inverse of f of z is equal to f of n and z inverse of g of z is equal to g of n then then z inverse of their product then z inverse of f of z into g of z is equal to 1 uh, okay is equal to say f of n convolution g of n okay f of n there are some notations for that i will have to include some notations f of n or can also be written like f of n and this can also be written as g of n then okay so z inverse of their product can be written as fn convolution operator g of n okay and the this is also same as m is equal to 0 to n okay m is equal to 0 to n f of m into g of n minus m okay so most of the time we are going to make use of this result z inverse of f of z into g of z is same as summation m equal to 0 to n f of m into g of n minus m so this is the convolution theorem and as in when required uh, as per the problem uh will make use of this also okay so here in this uh, learning video we are going to take uh, a problem where this uh, can be used to get the uh, sequence okay for the given z transform so if this uh, statement is clear to you we can talk about the working rule okay so let me write here now working rule for convolution method working rule working rule for convolution method so what is the first step some problem will be given to you so the very first thing that you can do is uh, you have to uh, write the given function as a product and with the help of that product you can certainly take uh, f of z and g of z so the very first uh, step you can do under this is is to get f of z and g of z okay so you can write here write down write down f of z and g of z this is the very first step that you can do under this the second step is that 
find find inverse z transform of find inverse z transform of f of z and g of z to get to get f of n and g of n is this clear now the very third step of this working rule says apply the convolution theorem apply method of convolution or instead of uh, method of convolution i should write here convolution theorem apply convolution theorem and after applying the convolution theorem you make use of the appropriate result fourth step is make use of appropriate result to get to get the required solution or a sequence as you know that the inverse z transform is the process of determining the sequence which generates the z transform okay so here i have written required solution if you write required uh, sequence that is one and the same thing okay so let us start with this problem so will it be okay if i take problem here or uh, if you want we can take two problems in the next learning video because I sh uh, the length of the video should not uh, go longer so uh, we'll take problems in the very next learning video so thank you for watching this learning video and stay tuned for the very next video lecture where we will discuss examples one on using this result and second example using this result okay so thank you for watching and happy learning